So you might be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone is stuck on the Apple logo and you might be trying to figure out what to do. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons. There's never just one reason why this ends up happening. But the very first thing I'd recommend doing for the most part is to go through and understand why this may be happening. One, did you randomly just go through and update your iPhone? Is your iPhone in the middle of an update? If any of those things are true, I would recommend just, recommend just sit, letting your you know, iPhone sit there just let it sit there and let it, you know, kind of update if it needs to. And that is by far one of the best things you can do. So letting your iPhone sit there, let it update, and that might end up fixing the problem for you. Now, if that doesn't end up doing it, Apple gives us a lot of stuff that actually tells us essentially how to go ahead and fix this. And the first thing they actually recommend, as I mentioned before, is that if your iPhone is actually updating, you don't want to mess with it. You don't want to go through and just have it randomly turn on or turn off. Like you don't want to mess with it. You just kind of want to leave it as it is. So make sure you don't you know, mess around with it. I would even recommend plugging it in if that ends up happening, if it does have a progress bar at the bottom of some sort. Now, another thing that can happen if your iPhone is truly stuck on this Apple logo, you can try going through and actually clicking down buttons to restart it. So what I would recommend doing, what some people recommend, is clicking the volume up button, volume down button, and then holding the side button right here. By doing that, you can actually get your iPhone to kind of restart or force restart it. So keep holding down this button until your iPhone completely restarts. So it's like volume up, volume down, and then holding the side button here until it completely restarts. That's another option that you may have, and that may end up fixing the problem for you. If you just keep holding down that side button, you probably won't see that, but you'll see the iPhone completely turn off. When you see the Apple logo again, you basically want to let go, or you can let go before, but let go right here. And then you'll basically, you might be good to go, and the iPhone will just randomly restart. Now, if that still doesn't work, the other thing you may want to try doing is you may want to try plugging in your iPhone via USB cable to your specific Mac that has the files application or iTunes installed. For a lot of people, for some random reason, I don't know why this ends up happening, but you may want to go through and actually update your iPhone via your Mac. So if you have a PC, Mac, whatever it is, if you literally just plug in your iPhone to your particular you know, Mac, PC, whatever you have, that may end up fixing the problem too. It'll just randomly just discover that you have a broken iPhone and then we'll go ahead and restore it or it will basically update it and fix it. I've been in that situation tons of times that it basically ended up fixing it for me. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. So